I call the Honourable To Henare. Um, Mr. Speaker, I've been given the privilege of winding up, um, and so that sort of uh, cuts out what I was going to say. <laughs> um, I know it's a ploy by my mate over there, Parikura uh, Horomia, um, but I do want to um, do want to pay salutations uh, not only to our brilliant uh, Minister of Treaty Negotiations, the Treaty Negotiations team from OTS, uh, but also uh, my colleagues on the Māori Affairs Select Committee, who I think have done a sterling job. But I also want to pay uh, uh, due respects to uh, the Honourable Parikura Horomia, who uh, back in the day when he was a wee bit younger, um, used to come to my office as Minister of Māori Affairs, uh, eat everything in the kitchen, leave nothing in the bar, um, but I tell the House and tell the nation, uh, Mr Speaker, you couldn't get a better uh, uh, advocate for Māori. And, uh, and uh, quite frankly, uh, we, the House has been well served uh, by uh, my colleagues uh, uh, time in the House and his advocacy. But we also had some uh, discussions about how we think the world should run. And just like my, my uncle who used to come to our house and talk to my old man until about four o'clock in the morning, and they would basically solve the world's problems as well. It must be a trait of, of uh, Māori to, to, to go through that. Um, as, as mates, as cousins, as friends, uh, as whanau. Mr Speaker, I, I'm not going to dwell too much on uh, the, the, the inner workings of the settlement. Suffice to say, that this, be, this has been a momentous day. Uh, when was the last time uh, uh, the nation saw Parliament uh, give its time over to uh, the settlement of, of treaty uh, agreements. Uh, when was the last time uh, we had uh, uh, a sitting from 9 o'clock to 6 o'clock ostensibly on uh, treaty settlement bills? And I thought to myself earlier in the day, I said, is this a good thing or is this a bad thing? Uh, do, are, we by, are we ghettoising the treaty settlements? by putting them on one day, or are we uh, uh, giving them uh, their fair due? And I believe uh, the latter, that we are giving uh, part of our history, part of our story, uh, the due recognition uh, in the House of Parliament. And it's actually not the House of Parliament, it's the House of Representatives. And that basically means to me that it is the House that is our visitors' house. It's the House of representatives. It is the house where we stand and deliver on all manner of things in a, represent, a representative role uh, for the people outside. And it is a wonderful, wonderful day to have you all here. And, um, and I suppose knowing where, where Tāmanuhiri is as well, and it was only very recently uh, that I got to stand on the shores of Muriwai contemplating my career in politics, um, whether it was going to, you know, maybe go another three years or maybe end abruptly. Um, and I was, um, I was lucky it, uh, it went on for another, well, it's going on for another three years. Uh, Mr Speaker, 
I said in the last, for the last two weeks that this is all about the tapestry, the brilliant tapestry of New Zealand's history. And I, I do echo uh, what the Honourable Parikura Horomia says about the name and, and what it actually means and where it, where it lies in the hearts of the of the home people. Uh, but I also feel for my mate who was sitting here, uh, who, is, who is related to those youngs, uh, to Nicholas Young, whether that's true or not. I mean, like he says, um, I think it's a good story, and I'll be telling that story around the nation as well. That young, that young Nick's head um, was named after his tupuna. Um, we, like I said, whether it's true or not, most of us know, uh, most Māori know, uh, of, its, of its true name, of its real name, and pay due respects. And here's something else to ponder, that regardless of whether land is, is given back, returned, or whatever, when we drive past it, even if it doesn't belong to us anymore, we still say, see that piece of land over there? That's ours. And, 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 that, and I think that's a good thing. I think that, that if we can pay due recognition, and I think if we can pay uh, what we owe in the final analysis, um, uh, is, is a great thing for this history. And other nations around the world can have a look at us. And I want to refer, to take that and refer it to the, the, the Black Hills of Dakota, where in the 1860s there was a treaty between the, uh, uh, the indigenous people and the government of the USA that they would have Tinoranga Tiratanga over this block of land, the Black Hills of Dakota. And they signed a treaty and one day somebody found gold and that was it. You know, and, and forever and a day, it even went as high as the Supreme Court to say how the, the treaty was broken. And so the agreement that Tāmanuhiri has with the Crown, and make no mistake, every one of us sit, he, sitting here today is the Crown. It's not just the government, it's the opposition as well. They are the Crown. Mr Speaker, uh, uh, my, word, my, my advice uh, has been throughout the debate is watch out for the, you know, the hawkers, the shysters, but also watch out for the Crown, watch out for the government, because in its wish to, to take the country forward, they might slip up now and then, or they might trip over now and then, and it's a good idea just to keep a watching brief on what we do as the Crown. So that's another piece of advice. I won't go on too much longer, other than to, to, to say, Ngā mihi nunui uh, ki a koutou katoa, ngā uri uh, o ngā aitua o ngā i tā manuhiri, uh, tino hari a tako ngā kou ki te aui a koutou i, i, i roto i, i tōku nei whare, i roto i, roto, I tō whare. Nō reira uh, tēnā koutou, Tēnā koutou, kua pai uh, tō koutou hairanga ki te, ki te, ki te haukainga uh, a muri i tēnei kōrero, nō reira uh, ngā manākitanga, ngā aroha ki a koutou katoa. Tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, ki rome tātou katoa. The question is that the motion be agreed to. Those of that opinion will say aye. aye. Contrary, no. The ayes have it. Nai Tā Manuhiri Claim Settlement Bill, third reading. There is a Waiata.
As the House has now completed its business under extended hours, the House will stand adjourned until 2 p.m. on Tuesday, the 31st of July, 2012. Kia ora.